På den här åkern utanför Lund ska en ny anläggning för neutronforskning byggas om det blir som Sverige vill. Anläggningen kallas för ESS och i praktiken är det en neutronkanon som kommer att bli en mikroskop i jätteformat. Vi har träffat professor Colin Carlyle som är en av världens främsta neutronforskare för att höra vad som är så bra med ESS. It covers a whole range of scientific endeavor, but there is one unifying theme and that is materials. When I say materials, I mean the materials of everyday life. I mean the pharmaceuticals, the drugs that uh, uh, are needed to solve certain diseases, uh, medical conditions. You need to understand their structure at the molecular level and you need to understand their function. At the other extreme, you've got, for example, the integrity of welds in engineering components. So that can be in a car engine. So in the crankshaft of a car engine, you might find that you get the uh, a degradation uh, because of heat treatment of a crankshaft. And you can understand how different heat treatments affect the micro crystallinity of the crankshaft using neutrons. Professor Carlyle säger att en av fördelarna med Lund är att vi svenskar pratar så bra engelska. Another thing which you find is the friendliness of the people. Mm -hmm. That uh, Sweden is a country which is somehow society which is very fair and in which people feel comfortable mm -hmm. and can can be friendly, they're not aggressive, uh, they're not defensive. Almost without exception you find a, a very friendly set of people. The city of Lund, I mean there are 40,000 students mm. here. Mm. It means that the city is very <coughs> youthful, that 200 meters from where we're sitting now we have the student union building and another 200 meters beyond with the main building of the university. And there's such a lot of life in the student uh, population. It's not only that they're all going around on their bicycles and enjoying life and, and working and um, socializing. ESS beräknas stå klar år 2020 och kommer att bli världens mest kraftfulla. Fast först gäller det att utklassa Lunds främsta konkurrenter, Ungern och Spanien. And uh, my ambition is to get the ESS built and built here. Mm. Yeah.